Hi Taurus, welcome to your singles reading for November. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me, personal readings and how to book them, decks I'm using, social media links, tons of stuff there. So please do go check that out. Thank you, thank you to all the new subscribers and welcome. And thank you to those who have reached out for personal readings. And thank you to those who have tipped or donated to the channel as in an exchange of energy is greatly, greatly appreciated. So thank you for all your support. It really means a lot to me, helping in the channel's growth and being a part of that. So thank you, thank you to everyone. Okay, so this is for Taurus Singles for November. Who's coming towards you? Who, when, where, how, what kind of connection it will be? Sort of a fun reading. So we'll see what we get here. So I hope everything, hope everybody is doing well. Happy fall, happy November. All right, Taurus Singles, let's see what we have for you. Let's get a couple Zodiac signs. Again, this may or may not resonate with everybody. Well, I guess uh, you won't know if it'll resonate for you because this could be possible incoming. So we'll see what we get here. And in, I could even pick up on something that happened in the past. So if I pick up on a past connection for some of you, um, that could be possible too. All right, so let's see. Can we get, wow, all right. So we got the moon energy, and I'm going to take this one. So the moon is Cancer, and we have the sun, which is Leo. Wow, that is so weird because we have the moon, which is feminine, and the sun is masculine. So this could be, this is like divine energy. So this could be a divine feminine, divine masculine. Uh, but these are the two signs that you could possibly have coming into you. So we have Cancer and we have Leo. So some, for some of you, you are an earth sign, could be a water sign Cancer or a fire sign Leo. Hmm, interesting. I just find that fascinating how we got the divine feminine energy with the moon and the divine masculine energy with the sun. So I know those are two different signs, but you could be meeting a soulmate here, possibly. But we'll see what the cards have to say, see what we get. All right, Taurus. Let's look at this person's energy that may be coming in towards you. And this could go for any time you ever, from the time you see this, doesn't just have to be for November. It can be for whenever. So um, I just date them so that people know in which order I release the videos. Basically, I do consider all the videos timeless. So let's see who this is. What is their energy like? What kind of person are they coming into Taurus? Who is this person? What is their energy like? Who are they? What is the energy of this person? Take that one. Coming into Taurus. So we have the Seven of Pentacles energy here. So this is someone who's going to be very patient. I think somebody who could be very analytical. Somebody who uh, invests wisely in their time, in their money. Um, I think somebody who's going to be very, very smart. It's very smart, patient, um, like they plan. They're going to plan everything, everything in their life, because this says patience and planning. So, and it's pentacle energy, which is uh, about material, monetary finances. So someone's very good with their finances. Um, I think type of person that's going to wait to see uh, the progress of something before they like decide on it. I think they're going to be very, very careful in their decision. Somebody's very careful in their decision ma making, um, how they're investing their time, their money, everything. Just very analytical, smart, uh, all about logistics, um, seeing things through. But they also are going to have a very, I think, patient, nurturing kind of energy also. That's kind of a good energy if you like that kind of energy. So, all right, so let's see when like what time frame like what season will we get here that they may meet this person what season what time of year may Taurus meet this person all right so we have temptation here which is the devil which is Capricorn which is um, November into December so some of you could be meeting this person um, November into December during Capricorn season. This is the card of Capricorn. 
we have 15 here. So it could be um, the 15th day into Capricorn season. It could be, you know, the date of the 15th. Add them together, that's six. It could be on the sixth. It could be the sixth week into the Capricorn season. Uh, 15 weeks into the Capricorn season. No, I don't think it's that long. So, um, but that may not, may not mean anything either. Um, one five, so it could be January 5th, I don't know. Capricorn does go uh, end of December into January, so January 5th. <laughs> I don't know, just throwing it out there, so Capricorn season. All right, so it doesn't mean they will be a Capricorn, that just means during that time frame of the Capricorn season, which is December, end of December into January, mid-January. All right, so where could you meet this person? Like where, under what circumstances? Where could they meet this person? So we have here um, a lot of getting a lot of earth energy. So you could, I'm getting like at the bank. You could meet them at the bank <laughs> or something like that. Um, or some sort of financial place or something like that, which I guess would be a bank or maybe somewhere, um, or even at line in line at the grocery store, I'm getting like, um, an energy of like, you know, paying for something like maybe you're in line waiting to pay your groceries or you're in line at the bank or something like that where money is involved. And that's how you meet this person. All right, so now that we have that, so, I mean, it could be, I'm really heav heavily picking, picking up like at a bank, maybe at the ATM or something like that. Um, all right, so maybe it's a bank, like a different bank you don't usually go to. And you're like, oh, I'm just driving by this bank. I just need to run to the ATM and take some money out. And maybe they're behind you. Or are you waiting for them to get done so that you can use the ATM or something like that? Or maybe you go to a different branch of your bank um, for some reason and you meet them there. I don't know. It could be anything. I'm getting like a very, um, like a bank type energy or, you know, uh, or something like that. So, okay. So now you've got kind of like the where kind of energy. So how? The waiting game. Wow. Didn't I just say <laughs> you're like waiting and you see the time here, like the time machine? here so I feel like you're waiting yeah you're waiting machine I just said machine so I feel like you're gonna be waiting to use the ATM or something like that and uh, I don't know they turn around and somehow you strike up some kind of conversation or something or maybe there's something wrong with the machine and you're both waiting for someone to come out and look at it or fix it or something like that and uh, you strike up a conversation and you see uh, a tree there with some branches on it and some greenery so I feel like it's gonna grow very quickly like the connection like you're just gonna start talking and you're gonna connect and things will start growing from there Wow okay so so now we got the where and like the how I feel like because you see like all this um, motion around uh, I'll call it a time machine or whatever like something happens with the machine ATM machine and you both are like waiting or a group of people or whatever waiting for it to get fixed and you just strike up a conversation with this person all right so and if you come together with this person I mean, they could ask you out, maybe bold, ask them out. I don't know, something here, but I do see a connection here. You see this hand reaching out. Okay, so let's look at what kind of connection, if you connect with this person, if you go on a date, if you date them or whatever, what kind of connection will this be? What kind of connection, well, it's too many, will this be for Taurus? What kind of connection? Not my cards. Just don't want to shuffle. The Taurus. Take that one. Focus. So wow. So I think this is someone who's going to be. I think you'd be very focused on each other. You see the fire there, the passion. So I think it's going to be a lot, very fiery, passionate connection. 
Uh, you'd be very attentive, focused on one another. Um, yeah. So I think it's kind of a good energy. I don't think you may not even date anybody else. You might just exclusively date one another, be very focused on one another, on each other, getting to know one, each, one another, uh, having conversations and really getting to know one another. And when they talk to you, I think you, you're going to be very focused on them and vice versa when you talk to them. They're going to be very attentive, focused. Um, they're going to pay attention to what you say. Wow, it's a good energy, Taurus. Okay. All right, so let's get your advice, Taurus. Let's get your advice with this connection. Let's get your advice with this connection. We get some advice for Taurus singles, possibly for this possible person coming into them. Let's get some advice for Taurus. What do we have? I'll take the top one. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. So I feel like um, you're going to be very understanding of one another. Be understanding of them, of their life, what they've been through. Um, there is no right or wrongs. And I think be very understanding. Be very understanding of one another. Wow, it's a good energy here I got except this devil here but I'm not like reading that as part of like the reading that's the time frame which is like I said uh, December into January but I did get their energy here as someone a very nurturing caring and giving I think they'll be very stable and grounded they may be a little slow moving I, I don't I think I don't know they may be a little boring I don't know but maybe that'll be different from the people you've dated in the past. Maybe you've dated players or some people that just wanted sex or whatever. And now you've got somebody who is very patient and planning and analytical and smart and they want to take things slow. That is a slow moving energy. So this person may just want to take things slow and maybe a different speed for you. All right. So let's get some extra clarification here. The tarot because you see the sun energy there which is leo but which is about you know fire passion um drive ambition kind of energy and then you got the water energy which is more of like going with the flow it's a more relaxed kind of energy but i don't know so let's what do we have for taurus what else do we have for taurus with this possible person coming in the chariot so and there's a cancer energy so i think that's just spirit confirming for some of you you may indeed have a cancer coming into you and that cancer energy the chariot here is about moving forward with uh, balance so i think this person is going to be very balanced and they know know how to make things work they may know how to make things move how to make things move forward they know how to be successful they may be even very financially successful also because they've invested their finances wisely they could even be um an investor or something like that maybe maybe that's how you meet them maybe you want to open some sort of new investment account and you go to see a financial advisor or something like that and that could be how you meet them too or something like that like waiting your turn to see this person about your uh, finances king of rods so now we're um king or queen doesn't matter now confirming here for uh the sun which is leo and this is leo sag aries but we're going to take it as confirmation here for leo energy so it's a very fiery passionate go-getter kind of energy drive ambition kind of energy and you see like they're uh facing each other there so <laughs> wow so we got the four of wands here which talks about uh, commitment could even be commitment marriage ceremonies uh stable home life so this could lead, have a, the potential to lead to down the road in the future to uh move forward towards some sort of commitment here possibly even marriage and here's the page of cups water energy here with the cancer there 
of uh, messages of love, affection, and that kind of energy. Offers of love and affection. Wow. Two of Pentacles energy here. So, you know, that's an energy of trying to uh, balance things around. But I just place it under the waiting game and you see how um, they look similar because you have the hourglass there and you have the two of pentacles which almost looks similar so i do feel like it's this is something about finances that you meet them under there's something with your finances and you're like you know oh i gotta go and now i gotta wait that's how you meet this person so like i said it could be at the atm maybe waiting at the bank or the financial institute of some kind to get a loan or open some sort of account or something like that Ace of Rods here, so here's a fiery, passionate, brand new beginning, divinely guided, exciting, adventurous. So something meant to be here, divinely guided with this Ace, and here's the uh, communication, passionate communication, Cupid's arrows, texting one another, uh, emailing one another, FaceTiming one another, um, like all the time. <laughs> a lot of fiery, exciting uh, kind of energy here like it's right under focus so this new beginning you're going to be solely focused on one another he has the fire passion here in this card and he has the fiery passionate energy there so spirit confirm that wow that's way too many is there anything else for taurus is there anything else for taurus let's take this one yeah the knight of cups so moving forward in this love uh, connection this person moving forward uh and that's the cancer energy there with the knight of cups so this is movement forward in love so i do think this is going to move forward quickly here uh with love passion i think it may move quickly into commitment it's a brand new beginning constantly texting one another um talking to one another being totally focused on one another is there anything else? Is there anything else? The High Priestess energy, Cancer Scorpio. So there's a Cancer again. So this is about listening to your gut and your intuition here. Listening to your higher knowing. But this can also be about secrets. I don't think there's going to be any secrets here between the two of you. I don't. I think this is just going to be about really listening to your gut and intuition um, with this. Maybe, okay, the message I got was it may be a very deep connection, but maybe um, words of love won't be expressed. Like nobody will say, I love you. And it's going to be like a waiting game because we have the waiting game there of, you know, who's going to say it first? You know, that could be the high priestess energy of, yes, there's love here. And we're moving forward in this love and this passion, but no one's really said yet. I love you. So this is like keeping it to yourselves and not really expressing that. But knowing that this is a deep knowing. But knowing because you got the love here, you got the love here, you got the passion, the passion, the new beginning, the commitment, moving forward, moving forward. So that's kind of the energy I'm getting uh, with that. And then the page of rods at the bottom again, uh, passionate expressions communication kind of energy so what I see here Taurus is a very um, maybe you know a very slow moving energy um, but I see a lot of love and passion and being very very focused on one another and getting to know one another um, moving forward though somebody may have to say I love you first before the other one because I don't think you guys are going to say it. I think it's just going to be like, yeah, we know it, but we don't say it kind of energy. So um, it looks good to me, Taurus. So I hope you enjoyed this, Taurus. If you did, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when, you po when I post new readings. You'll get four readings a month. You'll get a singles reading who's coming towards you, a love connection reading for someone you have a connection with, You'll get a uh, tarot forecast for the month, which is sort of like a general reading. But I take whatever comes out. Sometimes it's about love, sometimes not. 
And also I do uh, messages you hear, need to hear right now from your spirit guides, spirit messages. So if you would like all that, please do subscribe and hit the bell and you won't mess up, miss out. And if you do, thank you, thank you. So good luck to you here, uh, Taurus, and I hope this comes true for you. And sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.